All right, everybody, it's your man, Jump and Rope, Levi James here with Yana Hempler, and we are, we're working more on our jump rope training to incorporate into your running program training. So in the first video, we were practicing the basic moves, the four ones, the bounce step, the side straddle, the knees up, and the heels up. Yes? Yes. Fantastic. We move forwards with that one, and now what we're going to do is we're going to move sideways in the lateral or frontal plane here to help you avoid injury and enhance your jump rope training and increase your running output and make sure you don't get injured while you're doing some running. All right, guys, so we're back. What we're going to do is we're going to incorporate two of the basic steps that we were just practicing, but what we're going to do first is we're going to move side to side with it. Okay? So we keep it simple because we're not used to moving side to side. Like we talked about before, we want to start slow and kind of build our way up. Yes? Yes. Excellent, because we don't want to get injured. So we're going to do four bounce steps and four knees up, and we're only going to move to the side when we're doing the knees up. Make sense? Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to start on this side of the room. Moving in about a five to six meter span, it can be longer or shorter depending on the amount of space that you have, but do make sure that you have no obstacles in your way, you're not going to trip over anything or there's no equipment or other people around you. Okay, so we're going to start with the basic bounce step, so we'll just do the, we'll do the basics first before we turn the timer on. So okay. we're going to start with the basic bounce step. Excellent. Again, staying straight up and down like six o'clock, relaxed shoulders, pushing those thumbs down, rotating from the elbows and the wrists. Excellent. Now, Yana, what I want you to do is pull your knees up and move towards me to the side. Here, keep coming, keep coming. Excellent. Hey, stay right there. Bounce step. Keep jumping. So this is how we're going to work the drill. We're going to do it one more time this way. So let's go knees up. Come towards me. Very good. Again, the knees are coming up in front. Toes are being pushed down. Stay right there. We're going to go bounce step. Now we're going to do is going to move to the other side. Very good time. <laughs> I didn't get whipped there. Okay, so let's start with the bounce step again. So we were just moving to her right, which is her dominant side. Now we're going to move to the left, which is the non-dominant side. So it might be a little bit more tricky. All right, let's go knees up. Come towards me. There you go like a pro. Fantastic, stay right there, bounce step. Good work, and again, we're still keeping that nice tall jump posture, barely leaving the ground, nice soft landings, ready? Let's go knees up, come towards me. Knees up, knees up, knees up, excellent, excellent, keep going, keep going, keep going. Avoid sudden death, and bounce step right there, stay right there, bounce, 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 and finish. Very good, nice that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the timer on for 30 seconds of work with 15 second breaks in between, and we're gonna count them out in fours. So you're gonna need four <laughs> messages. That's why it's tricky. Remember oh, what we yeah. talked about before, we can count to four. Yes. So we should make it as a precursor to this one, make sure you can count to four. So we're gonna do four bounce steps, and with purpose, we're gonna move to the side with four knees up, and then back to bounce step for four. Yeah? Yes. Beauty. All right, so we're working at a two to one ratio. You ready? All right. All right, here we go. Action. In three, two, one, so we're going to start bounce step for four. Two, three, four. Knees up for four. Two, three, four. Four, bounce. Very good. Excellent. Count it. Good. Knees coming up. Bounce it. Good. Knees coming up. Bounce. Very good. Knees coming up. A little bit more to the side there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. No. Don't cuddle me yet. Get it that way. <laughs> Do the full six meters. Okay. Here we go. Bounce step. Knees up. One more time to the right. Two, three, four. Excellent. Bounce step right there. Three. Two, and we're gonna break, 15 seconds. Good, stay right there. So we're gonna start by coming to the left. So now we're gonna to go to the left this time, keeping with the same rhythm. Really like the way you kept the rope moving nice and consistently. Over time, you will definitely speed up your revolutions, but for right now, you wanna go with consistency first. Okay, ready? Let's go, bounce step to start, four bounces. Okay, now you come towards me. Excellent work, very good. Very proficient, I like it. Good, bouncing. Again, staying nice and relaxed in the shoulders. Back is nice and straight, elbows are into the sides. This is great work, good stuff. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna work your lateral awareness and your kinesthetic awareness when you're moving side to side. So again, when you're out running and you see an obstacle and you go around it, you're gonna avoid, avoid injuring yourself and break right there, perfect. Okay. okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna speed it up just a little bit, okay? Yeah. So that was, good, that was a good consistent run there. Just try to speed up the rope just a tiny bit, okay? And this is how we're gonna see the intensity increase right away. Ready, three? Two, one, let's go bounce step first. There you go, knees up. Ah, there you go. Ah, there so make go. sure, so when the rope speeds up, the feet have to move a little bit faster. So this would be when you're going from, say, your jog to your sprint. Very good. And you can hear it in the rope the way it cuts through the air when it starts moving faster. Excellent, now you're gonna come towards me. Oh yeah. Yeah, you still got 10 seconds. There you go, see? So you cover more distance faster. All right, so knees up. There you go, very good. Bounce step. Excellent. And break right there. Good. We're going to stay right there. We're going to pick up where we left off and one more set. 
Okay, so you're gonna start moving to the left. That was really good. Right. Just keep the shoulders back, elbows in, pushing those thumbs down. Are you ready? All right. Okay. Three, two, one. Start with the bounce step. Good. Let's go my way. Good. You were behind me. Sort of to the back, yes. Okay, knees up to the side. Very nice. Bounce it. Go one more time. Knees up. There you go. Good. Now you're gonna come towards me because you still have 15 seconds of work. Very good. And also what you're noticing here is your upper body stays pretty much in the same position the entire time and we're working just on the lower portion of your body. Three, two, one, and we're gonna break right there. Good. Now we're gonna incorporate the heels up because we wanna make sure that we get some hamstring action in there. So we're gonna start on this side of the room. And we're gonna go four bounce steps and four heels up. So again, if you need to slow the rope down a little bit for consistency, feel free Definitely. to do that. Ready? Two, one, let's go bounce step right here. Two, three, four, heels up. Four, good, bounce step. So we want to see a little bit more aggressive heels up. There you go, pull the heels right up to your butt so you're firing up the hamstrings and you're not using just your calf muscles. Good, good, good. That's okay. <laughs> that does happen. If you do hit yourself or trip over them, that is totally fine. It's very normal. Over time, your accuracy will be improved and you'll trip over the rope less and less as you practice more and more. Ready? Three, two, one. And we're going to break right there. Okay, just like we did last time, we're just going to increase the tempo just a little bit. Okay, so this means that the heel kicks are going to be a little bit more aggressive and more, and more purposeful. Pulling the heels right up to your butt. Okay, ready to go? Three, two, one. Action. Start with that bounce step. Oh, bounce step. There you go. So you can establish the rhythm. There you go. That's better. So again, we're going from the jog to the sprint with this one, making sure that the muscles are firing faster and a little bit more power. Very good. Now come to the left. Excellent work. So in a very short period of time, we've already increased the accuracy, we've increased the jump rope intensity. Fantastic. Again, keep going, keep going, keep going, a few more seconds. Excellent, and break right there. Good stuff. Let's check that heart rate. How's it doing? <laughs> I bet it's gonna be. I'm taking bets. Let's say 157 again. 143. Whoa, there we go. I was totally wrong. But still you're <laughs> in the training zone, correct? Yes. So what would you recommend a good training zone for running would be to get your heart rate? Whereabouts would you be there? I think it depends on what your ultimate goal is. So for sprints, it's always about what percentage of your max heart rate is. Exactly. So there's a whole calculation formula. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So for me, it's any so for the easy, low intensity stuff, yep. it's between 130 and 145. Exactly. So this would be sort of your more yeah. your warm-up range and stuff. But for somebody that may be beginning, somebody just getting into running or just getting into jump rope, this would be a good target heart rate to aim for. Oh the yeah. Level. Right, exactly. For the first little while, yes, because it still does go up. Absolutely. And I still feel it. Yeah, exactly. So then, so you're going to get the benefits out of it, and then of course, as you get better at it, it'll increase your speed and your power output, just like you will with doing some jump rope training. Yeah? Right. Feels good, yeah? Oh, Perfect. yeah. Perfect. yeah. Excellent. Okay, guys, so um, all of these techniques you can be learned uh, in our 30 day jump rope training program, which we're actually releasing January 1st, 2020. Uh, anybody wants to, you can click the link in the description below and get yourself uh, fired up on that. But uh, for myself, Levi, and uh, the Healthy Transformation, Yana, thank you very much for joining us today. And uh, you guys, if you have any comments, uh, things you liked about the videos, maybe things you didn't like, leave them down below. Uh, click that subscribe link over there, and you'll see one, many more videos coming from us, and hopefully our friend Yana again coming out to visit. Uh, until next time, guys, stay fit, have fun, and become stronger every day. Now let's get yeah. back to the There we go. <laughs>